So Kokanic has made a video, I am concerned about game development, the future of game development. And he's a gamer and I'm a gamer. I think I'm more of a gamer than a game developer because the reason why I make games is because I want to play them. So like the ultimate reason for me being a game developer is because I love to create stuff, but mostly is because I love to play stuff. And so I want to know what he thinks because this is Ubisoft, Activision Blizzard, Balatro and Pal World. Let's see. Cool, it's Turn muted. And I can safely say I am concerned for the future of gaming. Jump yeah, into I the mean. Arkham. That's why we make games, you know? So he doesn't have to be concerned, by the way. First, Batman fishing, Arkham done. Shadow is a Meta Quest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. <laughs> I, dude. Batman, you face so when I, when I say I am concerned, that is, of course, a very incendiary statement. I, I Are they stupid? I both am and I'm not. Why? Uh -oh. What I, what I am actually concerned about, and I'm not, and concerned isn't the right word. What is clearly happening is mm -hmm. it looks like Triple A is taking Bad. a breather. Looks like Triple A is taking a breather. Our industry is evolving and. Ch I think yeah. So so like, see, this is what I saw as well, or I see as well from like from the outside. I have never been in Triple A, but what I see is just a bunch of people with money trying to invest into games because it's a big market, and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing oftentimes not all the time not all the time but then uh, you know the marketing stuff ticks over and uh, now i think people are tired of this just shit i think uh, a lot of people well i can't really speak for the like the general public uh, i guess i have a soccer team and in my soccer team they still play fifa and pay for this every year so you know i can't really speak for like the normal person i guess because i'm like deep into this However, what I see from most gamers, you know, that are deep into this, is that they're tired. They'd pump 100 million into game projects, exactly. And then what they get out of is, is dog shit games because they, they hire too many people. And then uh, the game gets done not even much faster. Changing. Smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. New ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and yeah, will. Yeah, so these are mostly indie games, right? That's the reason. Yeah. Well, and so what that tells you is that you don't need like uh, 9,000 people to make a game. True. We didn't get any announcements of any major AAA That's titles. my game on screen, lol. Okay, which game? Which game did you make? Which is your game, Ramos? And prove it to me. Which game? You admit of which? Hello, Mr. Amida. DRG Survivor? Deep Rock Survivor. I'm the lead programmer on that. Really? You are? Damn! Bro, I really am? You really am? Smiley face? No smiley face. This Guys, this guy didn't type a smiley face in chat. He didn't say I made it smiley face. So it's got to be true. My game is standing in front of stuff uh, other people made. I've heard only good things about Deep Rock Galactic. Let, let's take a look. Wow, really cool. Stop with the full screen. Exit full. I can't go full screen. I can't exit the full screen. Oh, God. All right. So let's see. Deep Rock Galactic. <clears throat> Damn, bro. Really? Dude, you're rich. I suppose I can upload a screenshot. Holy shit. Wait, is, is it? Is it? Am I actually? Is it actually the right one? Wait a minute. Wait, that's not the right one. Deep Rock Survivor, right? Not this Survivors, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's a 2D game, I think. This one. Oh, this one. Ah, I saw Quinn and Asmongold play those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. How, what engine is, is it made in? Let me take a guess first. Uh, I think it's made in Unity. Unity or Unreal Engine, but I think it's Unity. Is it Unity? So how has Unity been treating you then? Unity, yeah? No, it's not Unreal, I don't think so. Um, 
Unreal has like a very specific look oftentimes, and this doesn't look like Unreal. <clears throat> you can see that PAL world was made in uh, Unreal Engine because of the look. Why is the lead developer watching cakes? Because I'm good! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he wants to learn programming, you know? I told you. I told you. You know, we had a guy from from uh, the Frostbite engine here too, you know? C++ GigaChat guy as well. You know? Stay mad, bitch. I told you. I guess even smart people go to this <laughs> Shut the fuck. And will break through. We didn't get any announcements of any major AAA titles next year or the year after. And That's more good. importantly, what that shows us is the rest of this year, not necessarily the rest, next year in particular, is going to be interesting. Now, I mean, well, we got Elden Ring, but I guess it was announced earlier. Interesting doesn't mean bad. Interesting does not mean bad. Because here's the thing. Think of game dev in this case like a forest, right? And the thing about forests is that trees get big and then they go out. And when they get big and get out, they create shade. And that shade means that little plants don't get a chance to grow and become big trees themselves. Mm -hmm. So what's happening now is that forest, those big AAA trees are falling. <laughs> they have been falling and now they are falling. Yeah, uh, thank God, thank God. Like these fucking, oh God, so thank God. So what's going on is- I hope they the fall to the ground, man. Like more, like they fall into the pit and don't come up again. Like I Versus hate these practices. Right now? I fucking hate them. Do you guys know that we are expecting another Diablo expansion? We are very excited for the new expansion. Another way to charge $100 from our customers without any content. Hell yeah! We're gonna sell you Diablo for 100 bucks, guys! Cause you can't have him in a Diablo game! <laughs> there's a lot more opportunity oh, wow. for Sun. I actually played it. And there's a lot more ground that's getting it. And that means that indie devs that don't need all those resources have a lot more room and a lot more money that can be sent their this way. This is our time to shine, guys. And that could be really great for them. Hopefully. Because now they have an opportunity to thrive in an environment where they don't have nearly as much competition. Hopefully. Hopefully. And that could be great mm -hmm. for gamers. You know, real super cool. I don't know if he's he's still making it. He's going to work on a uh, ARPG game, you know. He's going to kill Diablo 4. Now we already know that. It's going to happen. Guys, Belief. Right, and we are going to kill off RPG games by making a 3D RPG in the future, you know. We we use our first game to train and learn, you know, and improve. Come out of the hyperbolic time chamber, I will someday copy them. Yeah, true, true, true. So that part is kind of awesome. So it's, the, the thing that's really interesting to think about is it's kind of hard to see the forest for the trees right now because we're, we're or, or it's kind of hard to see the cloud because when you're in a cloud, you don't see the cloud. It's only when you're outside of it that you see it. And what it's looking like is we may be in the cloud right now of the gaming sphere actually going through a metamorphosis of these you large mean changing. pillars that have existed for decades actually tumbling and all of these indies are now going to have a chance to succeed. Now we have 25 million POW worlds. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's game. That game. Got, you know, I still didn't finish Power World, man. We gotta make another Power World stream, 100%. Poor keepers. Should make another We've run. We've got the Terrarias. We've got the Haunted Chocolatiers. Oh, yeah. What about that? The Haunted Chocolatier from Concerned Ape. That looks really good. Oh, my God. This guy's so fucking good. Look at this tree, man. Wow, I started by copying his style, but holy shit, this guy's so good. Man. Like we've got all these awesome little tiny titles that are becoming wildly successful. Yeah, this art style is amazing. Wait, really? is it, you, it's like auto battler plus action? Bro, if this is like a roguelite where you like have builds and stuff. See, like this is where you can see this is an indie title, right? Because it doesn't have CGI, it doesn't have crazy cutscenes. It's just a bunch of gameplay. Uh, showing you what's up. This could be amazing. I am. Can you put totally copium away? I think it's enough for today. Yep. Shut the fuck up. Hey, oh, wow. there it is. Oh, it's co-op too. A little prototype of just 
a character holding the device. Oh, how having cool! An endless running motion and jumping at the same time as seeing it in 2D and 3D. And then the other part of it. Man, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna be blunt. It's I'm not like, even. I'm not even super bolt. interested in this game, but this tech and these guys are awesome. The Man, I don't know why jiggling these balls is is getting me off so much. This is great. And uh, yeah. That's kind of awesome because, frankly, those games are fantastic. It's crazy high production value in this game, this in this video. This means that the people, in a lot of ways, that really love games because they just love them are the ones that are going to be making our games and the ones that are going to yep. be getting our money. See, like, and this is this is what I mean from the video that we watched yesterday where the person that was, like, you know, talking in the video uh, said that you should focus on marketing before you start or write your first line of code. Uh, you know, to make market research where like, I think he didn't emphasize enough how much when you really have passion for a project, how much that could impact how the game actually feels and plays in the end. Uh, and I think he didn't emphasize that enough that you need to like, this is what essentially this is what you need. Like, and it's not the only thing, but he, yeah, unfortunately, he didn't emphasize that enough. These these really good games, like Palward, was made out of passion. They made it so that you can kill Pokemons, essentially. And they didn't care if someone would say something bad about their game. Because that's what they wanted to do. That's exciting. It's great. Right. And you may already be playing our first game. Our first now, this is not my type of game, I guess. These types of games. And frustrating as fuck. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battleship <laughs> Brigade, and this is our card Oh, I played this Battleship Brigade. Battle this is actually really good, too. We are Studio NE Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. This looks like, uh, what is it called? A social game called any percent. <laughs> are you speed running social stuff? Like, and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Osborne, game director at Huscrofts, and this is... It's exciting to think that game dev could be... Imagine playing that and moving car on a handheld. Yeah, billions true. of dollars of resources that are going into them could maybe start going to the people that actually are like us and love playing and making games. And not just to the giant companies that are taking that money, making it a random number on a spreadsheet, yep. and then being proud of that number. Yep, yep. Instead of the product it represents. True, true, I'm true, optimistic. True. I'm not naive, but I am optimistic. Yeah, like, see, I'm me too, me too, because people are starting to call out their shit. However, I think the general public, it's like, it's this pirate software short, right? Where... Basically, a fucking mount was earning more mana, money than the entirety of StarCraft 2. And so, like, I know that these hardcore gamers that watch YouTube and get annoyed by the game's practices, they are unfortunately the minority. The fucking mom or the dad that just wants to play a fucking game on his phone or, like, on his PS PS5, PlayStation, whatever, right? They don't, they don't really care <laughs> that they're being abused. Or most of the time, right? If people keep buying, they will keep selling. Yeah, that's, that's the issue, you know. That is mostly why it still happens. And why these people keep doing these shady practices. You can create an outrage online, but the, the normal people, they're not on the internet, man. For the most part, right? Unfortunately. And, but maybe um, that's changing a I, little I, bit. I, do, bit I bit. do have faith. What's going on in game dev right now is terrible. We're seeing really talented, good people lose their jobs. We're seeing studios close down. And unfortunately, right now, a lot of the people that cause that pain are not suffering from it. Unfortunately. But, and I'm talking about like the people at the heads of these corporations making the decision. Like they're not the ones that are getting fired. They're not the yeah, ones- Yeah, yeah, it's in all branches, right? It's getting their company shut down. So although it is a terrible, terrible time, just keep in mind that hopefully there will be a silver lining here. And more importantly, what I think a lot of people are seeing that love money is that maybe there's better and other industries to make it in yeah. that are a lot easier. <laughs> Stop, le leave the gaming industry. <laughs> so exactly. Like, hopefully, go hopefully away with your shady the practices. People that are in game dev. Just I don't want to spend another two dollars so I can teleport in an RPG game if I already spent a hundred dollars. Okay, bro. For the money, I by looking everything at everything I going don't. around right now and going maybe I should go somewhere else. So, and that way, maybe the people that are <laughs> that are actually making the games can, can keep making them. We'll see. Anyway, 
I hope you had fun today. It's fun for me.